few tips. You've heard all about how to properly structure an introduction so that people want to hear you. It's not a biography of all your successes. It's focused on them. You've asked a specific question to pull them in. You've teased them with a potential benefit, actually a couple of benefits. Introduced yourself, uh, helping other people like them, given a little bit of your credibility. Now it's time to close out the introduction and introduce you and bring you up to the front of the stage. There are several ways to do this. I like the idea of asking a question to see what kind of audience response you get. It could be something like this. So, are you ready? to learn these seven steps so that you can double or triple your number of new prospective clients. Now when the introducer says that, you're still at the back of the room. This is a great tool to gauge the interest of the audience. If those first four or five lines haven't gotten their interest, you'll know walking up that you may have your work cut out for you with this audience. But more often than not, you're going to get an enthusiastic, yeah, let's go, let's bring him up, I mean, something like that. That's what you want. That creates some energy and brings you to the front of the room. And now they're positively expectant of what you're about to give them. Now, isn't that better than the audience that politely claps because they just heard yet another biographical litany of accomplishment but have no idea how it's a benefit to them? Have the person bringing you up read a question near the end of that introduction. Yes, you'd like to create the energy, but it's also a gauge for you. You can immediately tell what kind of audience am I working with. When they bring you up, you will be ready to go, and more importantly, they will be eager to hear your message. Go out there and create a killer introduction that makes people want to hear you from the very beginning. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.